some seed potatoes in. I have here um, Burley's, this is Charlotte. Um, this makes a very good potato, a very good crop. And now it's raining again, so I'm going to have to stop in a minute, but we'll see how far we can get before we're rained off. Um, so these little potatoes have just come this morning from the nursery. And you can see they are beginning to chip. Now there's always an argument about should I put the potatoes out to chip, which means put them in a light place and wait for them to shoot, or whether not to. Now I've tried both methods and it really makes no difference at all. In fact, if you put them in the ground, they then come up at the right time and then maybe a week later. So these are the bags I'm going to put them in. These are special potato bags and they're very good because they're quite tall and the potatoes, as you know, grow tall and you need to earth them up as uh, they grow. So what I've done is I've put a little bit of soil in the bottom to about so high and now I'm just going to put some potatoes in here, right down at the bottom, probably about one, two, three, maybe four and that's enough to give me a good crop. There. So now I'm going to put some soil over them. And the idea is just to cover them, keep them moist. But not to put too much soil in because they have to grow and as soon as they start to grow, as soon as they're yay high, you can put some more soil over them so that they get taller and taller and taller and then the leaves come out at the top. So that's called earthing up and that's what I shall do as the weeks go by. I shall gradually put more and more soil in until they're at the top and they flower. So that's the potato tubers earthed up. This one is Casablanca, which is a first early, which means it's earlier than the rest of them. And I've also bought this morning Kestrel, which is second earlies, so they're a bit later in the season. And Cara, which is a main crop. And Casablanca, which is a first early. So we'll see how they go. And I have a different bag for each one and the label. So we don't forget what's growing in each one. And the compost I've used, this one is a peat-free compost. We should all be using peat-free compost as we know, but this is quite a nice one. It's quite a reasonable one from the local supermarket and um, I'm very happy with that. So I'll let you know how they go and we'll take some more um, videos as they begin to grow.